Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My Sunday stream, we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're going to be playing more of our 100% run of Majora's Mask. We're going to get the game going. We're going to get the game going. We'll close out of this quiz and get us going. Make sure my controller's working. Yes. Okay. Let me show you all the game. Come on. There we go. Okay. Make sure you can hear it. Yes, you guys can hear it. Okay. Fantastic. So we started last time we played. I know it feels like forever ago with the, the week of Final Fantasy X-2. We started the Great Bay Temple. So this stream, we're going to be finishing the Great Bay Temple. And we might fight the fish. I'm terrified. Um, I'm scared of him. He's very difficult for me and my lack of aim. But we're going to do it. So we'll see if we get all the way. I know we'll I know we'll get to the fish. I don't know if we'll actually fight him or not. But we're going to try. Excited to see what Nora's like because you, Prince, you're probably... They messed up the port. Yeah, I don't know. It does not give this game... And I'm very sensitive, you know? I'm very sensitive and this game does not give me any kind of like uh, motion sickness or headache issues. So I feel like they must have messed up the port because like the way that Nintendo does these for the Switch is Switch, the Switch essentially has an N64 emulator on it and then they load the ROMs. And sometimes the emulators Nintendo makes are not as good <laughs> as the emulators that exist on the internet is the truth. So I kind of suspect maybe something like that. I don't know. I've never, I've not played this on Switch. I've only played it on, um, on my computer and of course on the original N64. Um, so yeah, that's that about that. Okay. So from this room, we were in here before we got our fairy. Um, what we need to do now is go through that hole down there where you see the grabby hands. So we're going to jump in the water. We're going to dive down and we're going to swim, swim. Come on, dive down farther. And you want to do your little your little electricity when you drop dive down there when you go through because otherwise they'll grab you and it's annoying okay then we kill these boom 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 goodbye goodbye and climb up here okay and there's another one over there and now they're oh they're all down there okay we have to kill these basically is the next thing we have to do so let's dive get dead get dead boom get dead yeah they're called Deku Babas, I think, and they're annoying. Die. Yeah. Oh, I missed the stick. Okay. So there's one more you saw up there, so we gotta go back up and get him. This is um the third temple, by the way. Noms, we finished the other two, so we're on the third temple now. Oop. Whatever, I was trying to hop and look cool. Get up there, hello. Oh my god. Whatever. Yeah, normally you can climb up there. I don't know why he didn't climb up that one. I had So anyway, we're gonna try to do it with the Zora Boomerang. Take that. Oh, whatever. Okay, we dive down. We'll kick punch. Boom, boom. Get him. Yeah, got him. Cannot look behind me on the Switch version? Yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't look behind you on this one either. They're the only, like, so you walk around, right? Like this, and then I can press, um, what's the button? Oh, it's not gonna work underwater. Anyway, you can press Z, whatever they've got on Z for uh, making the camera go behind you. So you would like, oh, that's the button, haha, <laughs> like this. That's all you can do. That's the only camera control that there is, is repositioning it behind you. You can't do that? There's gotta be a button for it, really? Okay, so now the easiest way to get up here, it, since the chest spawned, is hook shot for victory. Oh my gosh. I think maybe I can't do it all the way over there. Okay, let's hop some lily pads. Whee! Whee! Okay, can I do it from here? Yes. 
Okay, hook shot to the chest. Yay, stray fairy number seven. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back over here and go through this door. Get up there, Link. All right, so in this room right here, the first thing we want to do is take care of that stupid bomb chew over there. Otherwise, he's going to be in our way. So we're going to shoot his ass. Yeah. Okay. And then... <clears throat> We can put on, yeah, 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 okay. Put on the Zora mask so we can hop, hop. And the reason why I do it with the Zora mask is because you're slightly taller. You can still make it with Link, but it's easier with the Zora mask. You got the compass. Okay, so that gives us the compass. Um, so then we need to kill this stuff down here. Die. Shoot, that's what it looks like when he grabs you. Annoying little bitch. Okay, they're all dead, so they can't annoy me anymore. Then we're going to open this chest. Small key, we need that. Surface back up. There's one more thing we got to do in this room. And that requires standing on the edge. Link likes to live on the edge. And you gotta look down and shoot this pot. Look, it's a stray fairy. Okay, so then I don't want to jump down there, so I'm just gonna put on the fairy mask and make him fly to me. Yay! And then we are done with this room for now. So now to get back, we're gonna jump in the flow of water. Whee! And we want to go into this, yeah, hit it, this lower red room. Okay. I did. I thought I was going to have to spin around the room for a while to g get that, but I didn't. We hit it the first try, you guys. We hit it the first try. That's amazing. Okay. So now we need to swim over to this red pipe, and we got to climb up it. Whee! Yeah, I'm amazed. This, this, is, I don't know if that like bodes luck or if that is like I used up all my luck in that. <laughs> and it's gonna be unlucky now. We'll see. Come here, bomb chew. Come back up. Just wanna shoot you so you explode. You love exploding. It's your favorite. I know because if I walk over there, you'll explode all over my face. Oh my god. I can't aim. There we go. You'll get him next time, Noms. You'll get him next time. Not doing Victor proud. Oh my god, Victor did have the fighting Pokemons. I remember. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the small key. So we can open this door. And there's a clue in here. Look, there's a bomb. There's um the slimes. One with arrows and one with magic. So you need to stock up on arrows and on magic. It was super long ago. It was. Okay, so we've got arrows. <gasps> Your fox pretty. Oh, it's true. Naomi's so mysterious. Okay, did the choose respawn? Yes, they did. Give me more magic. Yeah. Okay. Now we have to go in here. And we have to fight this guy. Gotta look up. Oh, what the fuck is that? The most annoying bitch in the world. Staring at me from the ceiling. He's just an eye and a bunch of goo. So, we have to kill him. Alright, so, here's what we're gonna do. We need some fire arrows. 
and we're gonna shoot his ass. Yeah. Kill the bubbles. Yes, super eye horror, very annoying. We hate him. His stupid goo bubbles protect him and hurt us, so we got to get rid of some of them. Oh, not trying to target you, trying to target you. Get dead. Boom. Boom. Get dead. We need to hit him in the eye, but he's got too much goo around him right now. So, we're just kind of whittling him down. So really, for this stage, before you're trying to hit him in the eye, you don't really need to use the fire arrows, per se, but I still do. Get dead, Bubbles. Oh, you too close. Go away. Got amiibos for Breath of the Wild and Chris is having fun with them. Oh, that's so awesome. Get dead. Which amiibos did you get? There you go. That's what you want to do. Hit him in the eye like that. He doesn't like it, so we do like it. Get dead, Bubbles. why it turns around like that sometimes. I pushed the wrong button, I guess. Okay, be too close. Let's get away so we can aim better. Wolf Link. Oh, that's so cute. Hello. Oh my god, you're wearing it? Wait, come here and show everybody. No? You don't want to? Okay, you guys, I have something. I have. We have to interrupt the wart battle to show you this. Here we go. Look. Look, it's all the kitties. Okay, we have Oreo and Lady and Ash and Queen. And it says, personal stalkers. Y'all can't see that part at the top. But then it says, we will follow you wherever you go, bathroom included. I got this for Levi. It was being advertised as a Father's Day gift, and I know Father's Day is forever away, but it doesn't matter. So I got it. I said, well, this is an Easter gift. They love it. They all caps. They all caps talking. They say you're king. They say yes, king. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Wait, we have to go back to beating up Wart. That was amazing. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so... <laughs> Levi is the type of person that is, like, um, not super uh, always fond of... Oh, shit, bitch. Oh, yeah, he's in this phase. Um, that is not super fond of gifts all the time, so... He, but I got it for him because I couldn't help myself. And so he is wearing it. Oh my god. I think I'm supposed to still shoot him in this phase. I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm supposed to do. So, like, he's amused, but, like, for me, you know? Where are you going? 
Oh my god. I can't target. He's very cute when he's... I agree. I think he looks very cute in it. He looks very handsome. Okay, he's running around in the corner. <clears throat> Don't come to me. You're very annoying. Okay, last bubble kill. Ah! I should go to dinner, but my social battery's negative. Might ask parents if I can just eat in my room today. Ask them! I mean, worse that they tell you is like, no, right? So it cannot hurt to ask. And you just got back from big concert. Like, they should understand. Why did the Z target go away? Oh my god. Okay, he's almost dead. Is it because... Was it because I'm so low on magic? Hang on. I think the target goes away automatically if it gets too close for the camera to follow. Oh, that makes sense. I need more magic. Give me bombs. Oh, no more magic. Well, okay, we might have messed this up. Now I only have the regular arrows. I gotta hit him in the eye. Oh my god. He pushing the wrong buttons. There we go. Now he's dead. I knew he was almost dead. All right, and for that major annoyance, we get a prize. Do -do 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 do We get the ice arrows. Now we can freeze shit. Now we can freeze shit. Okay. Let's go back out to the chew room because we need to stock up on goodies because that fight is very draining. Not bombs. I just need hearts. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Well, get some magic too. Whee! <clears throat> okay. I know y'all chatted some and I missed it during all that. Let's see what y'all said. Oh, got tons off of eBay. Um, not the official ones. Oh, okay, okay. That's where I buy my amiibo stuff too. <laughs> I get like very the ones off of eBay like for Animal Crossing. Um, that's what I would do. I would buy like people that would make little crafts of them off of eBay. It was way cheaper. And a lot of times like they would come with little figures or whatever that um individual artists had made, so I liked that a lot better. Okay, is the there he is. Like is the magic one not gonna respawn? Hello, I could use some more. Okay. I think that's enough. We can go now. All right. <clears throat> so we killed Wart. Now we're gonna actually use our ice arrows. Oh, he's back. Boom. Whee! I intended to walk along the pipe, but Link had other ideas. It doesn't matter, though. We just need to get over to this platform. That's so cool. Ours are cards, but we got some figurine ones for the kids. That's cool. Okay, Tattle gives you a hint here. Oh, I didn't mean to put that on. I meant to let Tattle do our hint. All right, Tattle, talk to me. If you could somehow step on the top of that Octrock, I bet you'd be able to climb to that central pillar. But the Octrock is so squishy, it keeps squirming around. There's got to be something you can do. There is something we can do. We can shoot his ass with an ice arrow and freeze him. 
Yay. And then we can, oh, freeze your ass too. Shooting at me. Shooting at me. Okay, you don't need to freeze both of them. One is good, but whatever. Okay, and then we come up here and we can do this switch. Yeah, that Octorok thought, he thought wrong. All right, so that gets the red pipe water flowing. <clears throat> now we gotta go back to the main room. Um, and the next opening, I'm just checking my notes to make sure we go in the right order. We gotta go into the upper yellow color opening where the red water is now flowing. Okay. Whee! Let's die. Mom said okay, and now I have food. Yay! I knew she would think it was cool. I knew it. Okay, so we swim through here. Swim. Whee! Okay, upper yellow color opening. So we gotta go up. Well, not that far. Not that far up. Okay, this is more normal where you kind of have to spin around over and over to get to where you're trying to go. Okay, it's that one. It's that one. Go up, up, up. Okay, this one. There we go. Wee wee. Okay, so... We've been in this room before, right? This looks familiar. Fish, why you mess with me? Whatever. I don't really care about him. Okay, got him dead anyways. Alright, so in this room... The only platform we can climb on from the water is this platform, as we remember from being in here before. But now we have ice arrows. So we can still hook shot over to the chest. But we can use the ice arrows to get over to that platform over there finally. So we're gonna shoot an ice arrow, and hopefully I can aim good, and we can just do this. Nope. There we go. Ah, damn it, fell down. Get up there. Okay, and now we can climb up, yay, with the power of ice. And we come to this room. Now this room has a chew in it, and what we know about chews is they constantly respawn. So if you accidentally kill it, it's okay. But what you really want to do is freeze him when he's right about there. And then, come on, climb up. Oh, you gotta press the button, okay. And then we're gonna come up here. This chew is gonna be annoying. So he's gonna come run into you, but there we go. I shield him away. Oh, you push this one this way. And then we do this switch. You can see there's another red pipe. So it's going to make the water go that way. <clears throat> All right. Now we go back. Whee! All right, so now we need to go back to the central room. Just looking at my notes to make sure. Okay, yeah, we gotta get back to the compass room again, now that we have the ice arrows. Okay. Whee! Oh, not that way. It won't let me go that way anyways. This way. Oh my god. Go down. Is 
Get down there. There we go. Oh, nope. Come on, this way. There we go. All right, so we all remember this room, and if we come through here, we're going to be back in the room where we got the compass. But now, armed with ice arrows, we can actually go through that door over there. That's what we're going to do. Let's see if I can have good aim again this time. So now we can get up here, but we need fire arrows to melt that ice. And oh no, it's another annoying ass frog. This is annoying in the temple, in the Swamp Temple, it's annoying here too. Well, let's put on the bunny ears. So we can catch him good. So you gotta swap, uh, hit him with your sword, and then he's gonna become an ultimate goo. And here's what you do when he's ultimate goo. You gotta freeze his ass. And then he'll come down and he'll shatter. And you hit him again. And you don't want to get trapped up in his goo because he will suck you in and he does kind of a lot of damage when he sucks you into his goo. Why does the frog look like it's in the wrong game? His Crash Bandicoot enemy? I agree! I think the frogs do look like Crash Bandicoot enemies. The one in the uh, Swamp Temple similarly looks like really weirdly designed. And then he's dead. Now, remember, we made it spring again so that we could talk to the frogs. So we definitely need to do the Don Gara mask and talk to him before we leave this room. That way we don't ever have to come fight his ass again. Ah, uh, Don Gara, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be, has spring finally come to the mountains? That looks, it's true. Winter was so long, I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. Okay. So now he's off to the mountains and we can get through this door now. Whoa, what's that? It's a blue chest. What's in blue chests? The boss key. Okay. So you might be saying to yourself, self, how the heck did Karen ha get the boss key? And we only have like eight fairies or something, whatever, right? Well, there's a lot more of this dungeon after you get the boss key, which is part of why it's uh, considered so annoying. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so, yeah, you might think like, oh, I'm near the end, I got the boss key. Wrong. You're wrong. We're not near the end at all. All right, then we gotta go through here so that we can go back to the central room. All right, and then from here, um, okay, from here we actually have to go up. We're not going through a hole this time. No, I'm trying to surface, not swim. What are you drinking? Okay, this, this is a guava LaCroix. It is delicious, okay? I love this flavor. It's amazing. All right, so now we got to climb up. It doesn't really matter where you climb up. You can get to where you need to go no matter what. We just need to get up. 
We want to get to the southern entrance, so like over there. So I'm gonna take off the Zora mask. I'm gonna put on the bunny hood. There we go. First time's charm. And then we gotta walk through here. So this is back in the original water wheel room from the very, very beginning of this dungeon. Oh my God, it's so good. The guava flavor is so freaking good. So the water wheel, we've already explored everything for it turning this way. So we have to now reverse the water wheel, which is not very obvious. Again, another reason why a lot of people really struggle with this, but the clue is supposed to be that we just did a bunch of stuff with the red pipes and you can see we've got the yellow fish and we've got the red fish. So we need to make the red fish go. So, okay. Um, so we need to get the hook shot out. And there is a target, I think, right above here. Yes. And this is going to make us fall down on this water elevator that is on now since we did all of the red stuff. So we ride him up. Do this red switch. Okay, so now they're both going, and the water wheel is stopped. So we have to shut off the yellow pipe. And that one, I believe, is down in the water, if I remember correctly, from this room. Yes, he's over here. Okay, so now the water wheel is going in the opposite direction. Yeah. And we need to go back to the place that we came, which I think the best way is going to be getting on this platform. Yes, hop over here. Oh, I need to kill these. Otherwise, they're gonna knock me down. Oh, bitch. Leave me alone. Get dead. Okay, take off my bunny hood so that I don't miss this jump. Whee! Whee! All right, now we can get back to this door. All right, so we're back here, and it's going the opposite direction now, so we can get into a bunch of other places. <clears throat> and the way we want to do this first is handle that waterfall over there that we couldn't do anything with before because we didn't have no ice arrows. But now we do. So we can stop the waterfall with those. <clears throat> all right. This is another room where we really do need to kill all the enemies first. Yeah. Now, I want to... Can I do this from here? Oh, no, it won't work if I do it from there. Okay. We do need to go up there, but I, if I do it from here, it won't work. All right. So, let me get regular arrows out. Because we basically have to use our ice arrows to jump across here. And, like, these, these enemies will, like, be super in the way. So, I just want to kill all the stuff. There's one more enemy, but he won't come all the way over here, so we gotta go to him. All 
Alright, now there's this tech tight here. I wanna kill him. Get dead. Oh my god. There. Is that gonna kill you, or are you just gonna come back to life when you unfreeze? Yep. Use a regular arrow. There. Now he's dead, too. Alright. Then... Oh, we need ice arrows again. Now that all the enemies are gone... Oh, shit. Now that all the enemies are gone, I'm gonna fuck up by jumping into the water. Alright. We gotta get over to that green platform. But we do it the same way. No, not with the bunny hood on. Take the bunny hood off. You jump too far. Come on, get up there. We turn on the green pipe. Okay, so now there is a stray fairy in here, but the only way to get it is to get over to that corner of the room. So we need to use our ice arrows to get over there. Night of the second. It's melting! Go! Okay. Phew! Got it. Okay, are we in the corner enough? I hope so. Yes, maybe. Ah, I can't reach it. We're in the wrong spot. We're in the wrong spot, you guys. Make another one. Or this one melts. Get up there. Where is it? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot again. Okay, try this again. Nope, he's not gonna grab it. Damn it. Okay, and we're melted. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> you can hook shop up into that area from here, but it doesn't like where you land. You you don't stay up there. You just get this ruby. I'm pretty sure. Like, I think if I do this, if I stand here, I can get up there. But I think I just get the ruby. Oh, but I can't even ever stand over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, you don't grab it. But over there, you do. Let's try again. Oh, and we're about to run out of magic. I wonder if there's magic in those barrels. Oh, and I keep wasting it by hitting the wall. Oh, and now we have no more magic. Can I get it from here? No, absolutely not. We gotta get that fairy, so let's backtrack and see if we can get some magic and some arrows. Okay, yeah, there's pots here.
Give me some of that good stuff. Not hearts. Magic. There we go. Whee. Whee. There was nothing in there. So rude. Oh, there's no ladder. Ha ha! All right, let's try this again. Would less fail this time. <laughs> Link did a barrel roll. He did do a barrel roll. That didn't kill him. Hmm. Surprised. I thought that would have killed him. Can the hook shot reach from over here? Because I should be able to hook shot onto those barrels. bombs. really don't need bombs. Okay, hearts that like gas. Need magic and arrows. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is what I needed, game. Alright, well, we can hookshot his ass. Maybe? Okay, maybe without the Z-target. Why aren't you dying? I can't see. There we go. Now you're dead. Did you drop anything? Okay. Let's do the ice arrows again. Okay, we got 36 of them. Okay. Come on, Karen. You can do this shit. Not that hard. Oh my god. I keep hitting it exactly wrong. A new ice block. Again. From here. No. There we go. Got it. Finally. Oh my god. Stray Fairy! Number nine! The end of this stupid room. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, then we come back here. Need to be a cow again. <clears throat> and this time we're taking the middle path. Whee! No, go down. It's that one. It's that one. Damn it. Come on. 
Get in there. There we go. Did it. Get up there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I gotta keep going. That's right. This room. Yeah. Ooh. All right, filled back up on magic now. So we got a surface. Get up here. <clears throat> okay, um, I need just a quick second. I have to go peep and then we're gonna do this room. Give me like one second. Come back. You can blame it all on me. Wee. All right, so on this platform, we gotta get into that alcove right over there. Oh, we already have our hook shot. So we just got a hook shot for victory to that. Wee. Because here is another stray fairy. <clears throat> all right. Now we gotta do all that again to get back up on that little. Leave me alone, fish. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to mess with you right now. Hey, hey, don't push me. Excuse you. Excuse you, Ella Later. That was not nice. Hello. That's how people get injured when they're playing in the pool. Calm down. Whee! Damn it, missed it. Random thought that I just thought of because of a fic I was reading brought up to you. Okay. Um, do you think healing magic would be addictive? Oh, that's a thought. How would one even go about rehabilitating for that? Would healing items be more or less addictive than healing magic? Mm. <clears throat> well, I think the problem is that in most universes, healing magic and like all that stuff is like universally beneficial. It's not like, um, you know, modern medicine where, you know, you can go to the doctor too much, right? And, uh, and try to get treatment too much, which is why, like, it's so important for doctors to take the Hippocratic Oath because sometimes the right medical intervention is to not have medical intervention, is to tell the person, go home. <laughs> it's, you're going to be fine. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's the right thing to do. But healing magic is not really like that. I think to have something, some kind of compelling narrative in that regard, what you would need is you would need like, okay, what happens when you do healing magic or have a potion or whatever, um, when nothing is wrong? What happens when you take healing magic at full health? So I think to have that as a as something compelling, you would have to really think about how that would function in your world. What happens when you do healing magic at full health, you know, on somebody? Um, and then I think if there was 
like if something specific happened in that scenario, then you could have something very, very compelling in regards to like healing magic, healing magic being addictive. So yeah, that's my initial thought. I would want to know what exactly happens if you cure someone while they're at full health. Because in most games, nothing. Nothing happens. It's no big deal. So yeah. <clears throat> but that is quite the thought. I am very intrigued by it. Alright, so this room... Um, oh, wait. There's a fairy we have to get first. So in this room, uh, the seesaw room, this is another room that kind of messes people up and they get very confused, but I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not too bad. This fit compared to a strong painkiller since in their story it isn't instant but speeds up healing process and eases pain. Okay, then yeah, absolutely. I think you absolutely could have a world where um, healing magic is like a metaphorical, you know, opiate or something. All right, Stray Fairy 12. Be down there in the barrel. All right, so here's how you seesaw. Come up to this one. And it's all about the ice arrows. It's all about that ice. About that ice. Ice arrows. Oh, wait. Not ice arrows. Fire arrows. My bad. The ice arrows is to freeze them again and put them back. So if you want them in the opposite uh, configuration, you fire arrows to melt it. And then you can ice arrows it again to put it back if you need to. Whee! I could aim. So the question is, would a potion be more or less addictive than magic? I assume less since it's less effective. Yeah, I assume whatever is less effective would be less addictive. The same way that it works with painkillers. So if we've got healing potions as a metaphor, metaphor for painkillers, we know typically the stronger the painkillers, um then the more likely someone who is prone to addiction will become addicted. Typically. <clears throat> and of course, there's lots of other factors involved. Like, um, addiction is largely a, uh, a disease of, you know, mental stuff. So somebody that is depressed, anxious, etc., um, traumatized, more likely to be um, addicted to something. Whatever. Stupid bomb shoot. Come back. I won't come up here. Come on. I walk, he's probably just, yep. Ah, now he does. Oh my god. So, we missed. So now we got to do it again. Because I fell. Die. Die. But now that you know how to do this room, it's pretty simple. You just ice arrows it back, and then you fire arrows it. I don't know if I'd ever explored someone who works with very interesting world building. Yeah. Um, absolutely. I definitely think it's interesting. And I can see value. I can see value in exploring um, something like the opiate crisis or addiction in general in a fantasy setting. I see, I can see value in that. Can blow up that bomb tube before we get there. Here. Can I hit it? I guess I can't hit it. Okay. Well, we'll fire arrows. Get back on there, Link. Okay, let's kill the bomb chew before we even go over there. Can I shoot through the waterfall? Seems the answer is no. Unless, yeah, no, it, I don't think so. Okay, anyways. Ice arrows. Did the bomb shoe just explode? Okay. All right. Whatever. Fire arrows. Thank you. 
All right, let's do it again. Oh, we need Zora Mask. We need Zora Mask for his tallness. Come on, Mr. Tall and Macau. Help me up this pipe. Yeah. Oh, but he can't he can't be that tall. There we go. Then we're gonna hook shot to the chest. And there we go! Stray Fairy, 13th one. Alright, now we need to do this final seesaw over here. Whee! Oh, you think you could come with me, Chu? You thought you could come with me? You can't come with me? I'm the hero, and you're just a Chu. All right, so let's get the cow back. Whee! Back to the central room. Now we go... Whee. Get in there. Hello. Oh. I went the wrong way, I think. Yeah, I feel like I went the wrong way. I think I can't... Yeah, I went the wrong way. I can't go back, can I? Because of the flow. Yeah, I can't go back. Okay. That is okay. We can just hop to it. And this is why this dungeon gets a lot of hate, because it's very easy to accidentally go the wrong way and kind of lose your way in here. We need to get back to the central chamber, where we spin around. And I just went the wrong way to do it. Oh no! Why'd you roll? Why'd you roll, Link? That was so unnecessary. Get back up there. Yeah, I am all for, like, magic in a system having, like, additional effects that are not necessarily, like, super beneficial. Um, because that's how things work in the real world. You know, nothing's all one way. Where are we at now? Oh, we're back in the seesaw room. Okay. Same, I love it when magic has side effects. Yes, 100%. It's just really annoying to implement for not yeah. Yeah, I think you have to put some thought into it and it makes you it makes you think about like, okay, well, why am I doing this? What is the point of this? You know, you have to ask yourself um pretty heavy questions like that before you can decide like what the negative consequence is going to be. Okay. So we're back to here. So I don't it's not the Dexy hand. I go this way. 
Can I swim this way? Or is it going to force me out? Okay, yes, I can swim this way. Okay, here we go. Now we're back. So we want to go to the bottom. This is the final room. You can just slide right in. Just, just slide in there. All nice-like. Okay. Here we go, you guys. This is it. The, the last room of this dungeon. I know it seems like this dungeon is not so bad when I've done it, but that's because I know where things are. This dungeon is very annoying when you're also trying to, like, solve the puzzle at the same time. As, like, navigate around it. Okay. Can I get this very first try? Let's find out. Yeah, got him. Okay, it takes you back to the central room, and you gotta sink back down, and you gotta go through it again. So, there we go. Slide right in. That was fairy number 14. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so then we gotta surface up. Where is it? It's okay, it's over here. There's one more fairy. I think you might have just seen it in the corner. So you come up here, stand like right there. And we gotta shoot his ass. Come to me, fairy. We found all the bitches. Okay, now we run up here. Run over here. One last switch. Yay! Okay. It's the boss room, you guys. Um, I'm scared of this boss. It's difficult for me. So I need you to send me all of your pro gamer energy. I need all of it to beat up this fish. Um, we're going to save state. We're going to save state because I'm scared. That's why I have so many potions in my inventory. Um, because I'm scared. But, uh, but I know we can do this. I've done it before. I've done it before, so I know I can do it again. All right, so what we need is we're going to need our arrows. We're going to need the bunny hood. And let me put... Um, I don't think I want to put a potion in there, but... Okay, so we're going to do it like this. Arrows, bunny hood, the cow mask. Actually, oh my gosh, I am low on arrows. Is there pots down there? Is there pots down there in the water? Let me see if I can get some arrows. I think there was pots down here. Yeah, there's lots. Okay, give me some arrows. Yes, thank you. I would like a few more, please. Do you have any more arrows for me? No, that was it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's enough arrows. I'll be okay. That's your power emote? Oh, I see him. He's got all the power. Come on. Okay, let's do that saving again, now that I have arrows. Alright. Okay. It's time to face your fears. Time to face my fears. Geronimo!
Here he comes. The worst fish in Zelda. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, cat. Thank you, kitty cat. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you, Donald. It's a good emote combo. It's a good emote combo. Okay. Here he is. Oh god, he's so scary. Georg. All right. This bitch is annoying as fuck. Um, basically, what you gotta do is you gotta shoot him and stun him, and then you gotta jump in the water with his ass to actually hurt him. Um, he does that to try to knock you off. That's when you shoot his ass. Okay, and then we jump in the water like this. Whee! And then you try to get away before he eats you, and you probably fail at it like I usually do, because I do stupid stuff. Yeah, like he eats you. Like this. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, he just, he just nom nom noms. And then, um, yeah, that's, that's what happens. And that's how I lose all my hearts. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Okay, we gotta do that a bunch of times. Come on, Georg. Come back. And that's why I have a zillion potions, because he eats me, like, all the time. Um, every time I jump in the water. I coming for you, bitch fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, got back up here without getting eaten that time. Yeah! Not as good as the eating booty emote combo, but still good. Well, Georg likes to eat my booty. That's his favorite. He's like, mmm, Link, yeah. Okay, now he's gonna shoot out a bunch of baby fish. And you can kill them to get hearts, which you might need, but I have potions, so I don't care. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna run away. Oh no! <laughs> he still got me. <sighs> Bjorg, I know Macau is tasty, but oh my god! Okay. Okay. Take off the mask. He does- he does be like Pop Cat. Nom 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 nom! That's what he does. That's what he says. Oh, he'll do that too. If you stand in the middle too much. But still, like, you just shoot him when he after he does it. Come on, there we go. Get in there, Macau. Kill his ass. Okay, I think we need to do it one more time. Ah! He heated me again. Okay, I have to pop a potion after he spits me out. Yeah, and you can't just, like, go in and, like... Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Get back to the surface! Go, 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 Macau! Go, Macau! Okay. Oh, okay. Um, let's drink a potion! Yummy. Link, fill up your hearts so you can kill this stupid fish thing. Come on, fish, where are you? Hello. Oh, he jumpy this time. Got him. Eat this fish. And now he is owned, so he shrinks into a corn cob. Goodbye. Never see you again. He's so scary. Get up there. Yeah, we did it. Got our piece of heart. Yes. Woo. Okay. Let's get back to our normal form, Bunny Ear Link. There we go. And we got Georg's remains! Yeah, we freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil Georg.
we have another one of these scenes. Hey, listen, we want to lend you, lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely, you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail is trying to tell us. He help our friends. I get it. We have to help the last one. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. Glad we have Tail to translate. Now I can continue resting in peace. I too must abide the laws of ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. Is that the voice I gave him before? Or did we do like, did we do like the, the other turtle voice? Now I can continue resting in peace. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. We'll do the deep voice this time. But the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished. Link. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. <laughs> okay. So we beat the temple. Yay. Let's go. Um, now the water is not crazy warm anymore for the Zora. And, uh, and here's your little bonus that you get. Look, all of them. They're here. Let's do, uh, let's do a little talky talk to Lulu with Macau. Um, so we can tell them, y'all, the band's back together. Mikau, you came back safely. That's good. I was surprised when my voice turned that lonely island into a turtle. That song you played for me. My mother used to sing it often, long ago. Those eggs were laid to remind me of that. That song was from when I was a very young child, so I had forgotten it. I've put you through some horrible experiences, Mikau. But I'm all better now. Well, the town's concert is very soon. Let's start our rehearsal. A one. A two. A three. So we get that little rehearsal scene that we get to see. So that is basically our little reward for beating the temple. So anytime, any cycle, if you beat this temple, you can come here and watch their rehearsal. Lulu gets her voice back, all that stuff. It's beautiful. Now we did collect all the fairies. Oh, let's do this. We did collect all the fairies, so let's go get our reward for that. Dolphin jumps. <gasps> dolphin jumps. Mm, dolphin jumps. way to the ferry is you come over here and then you use these trees to hook shot. the countdown at the same time I trying to aim oh my gosh all right so then once we get to here let's bunny hood hop and then here oh 
dawn of the final day. boulders and then our lady love is in here. <laughs> oh courageous young one, I am the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. It got a bit messed up during the countdown and then fixed itself. Oh, weird. Right? I love it. I love her colors. She's beautiful. Defense is strengthened. Okay. So enemies do have as much damage as before. We have double defense now. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Don't worry. I will. Probably not. Because you're a little inconvenient to get to. Okay. So that's basically the main things that you do post-temple. There is one other heart piece you can get post-temple here. But what we are actually going to do next um, is we are going to finish the froggies. Oh, it just started pouring rain here. It's like, whoosh, all at once. Okay, so we went and made it spring before and got that frog started, the first one in Snowhead. And then we just went and saved the frog um, from the Great Bay Temple. But if you remember, there's three other frogs that we have found, so we have to go talk to all of them. The first one is here in Clocktown over at the Laundry Pool, so we have to head over there and we have to talk to him with the Don Garo mask, just like we just did in the temple. Oh, no. Laundry Pool's down here. Right? No. Oh my god, I went totally the wrong way. Aaron, what the heck? Forgot how to navigate Clocktown. Totally the opposite direction. This way. Down here. Okay, so anyways, you come to the laundry pool like this. <laughs> Alright, and there he is. We need the Don Garo mask. Ah, Don Garo, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. And he just teleports there. All right, so the next ones are in the swamp. So we have to go to the swamp. Now the first one is over here on a log, and we gotta do some swimming, so let's put on our Macau mask. He's so tall, he just walks at the bottom right here. But he won't walk for long, he'll start swimming soon, I think. Does, can he walk the whole way? Oh my god, Mikhail's so tall he can walk the whole way. What the heck? I was not expecting that. Okay, so anyway, Mr. Tall Boy, come here and we can talk to the frog. Ah, uh, Denigaro, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. 
I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. They all say exactly the same thing. Now, the last frog. Any of y'all remember where the last frog is? It's true. The last frog is in Woodfall Temple. And we have to go fight that stupid gecko again. So let's see if since then I've gotten better at this game soon, playing it so much, and I can beat him much better. Hopefully that's the case. Alright, so we gotta get this temple open. Then we need our Deku mask. Oh, and I need this too. Then what's the song? Up left, up left, eight right, okay. to go to the right. Yes, is this true? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Here's what we need to do. in the eye. I think it's like straight forward this way. I don't think it's to the right. I think the gecko room is just north. This test of my memory. Yep, there he is. Oh wait, we're not doing that part yet. <laughs> oh. But I guess I hit him. You just I guess you just can hit him with anything. You get it better that time. I've gotten much better with Z-targeting and all of that stuff. Alright. Don Garo mask time. Ah, 
gods, and Garou, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? But look, it's true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. Okay. Now... We can use a Song of Soaring to get back to the entrance of the temple. Put our bunny ears back. Link's natural state. All right, so now we need to go to the mountain village. And here they all are. Oh my gosh, it's every single one of them. Them. We brought the fire back together. Okay, let's talk to them. Well, if it isn't the great Don Garou, shall we sing once again? Yes, I would like The conducting was spectacular, and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. You got a piece of heart. Yes. Each new container. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the regular piece of heart. Here he goes. Let us do it again sometime. Okay. So that is how you get that piece of heart. <clears throat> All right. We are on day three. Day two went by quick. I feel like there weren't a lot of cutscenes or anything. So day two went by quick. Let me see. Let me see something. Okay, I know what else we can do. I know what else we can do this episode. Let's go do the last heart piece um, from the Great Bay area. We can do that. Nice little music they have. All right, so if we go back to Great Bay, we can do this particular heart piece um, after you beat the Great Bay Temple and then any time in between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. He's only in there like during the day. Thank you so much. We're, we're, uh, we're green for spring. And I've got little like, you can't really see it as well on camera, but I've got little iridescent and hollow bits in it. just swim around Great Bay and just do these dolphin jumps over and over. So fun. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so you ride the boat to get to the fisherman's jumping game. Yeah, I just redid them on Friday, so they're looking especially excellent right now. Oh, we need our hook shot. Alright, so you ride the boat. And the boat will let you get over to here, because there's no other way to hook shot into that tree otherwise. Lizzie's obsessed with nail polish. Oh, I'm so glad. I think you had told me that before at one point. I'm glad to hear she's still obsessed. Are you going to let her learn how? I think that's a, like a great little creative hobby for a little girl, you know? And the more she practices now, the better that she's going to be. Trying to hook shop. Oh my gosh. We're gonna miss it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Put on our bunny ears. And oh, I wanna do save. Save. Now 
that the seas are back to normal, I've started a little business aimed at tourists. If you pay 20 rupees, I'll invite you to the big jumping game that has a really big prize. If you're up for it, go to the island in the center. This is random, but it reminded me to send a pic of my new pins to Discord. I have many. Oh my god, yes, 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 please send it. Also, we have to do a pin um, when Luna shows up. I know she's at church this morning, but um, when she gets here, because she did uh, do a, a sub renewal yesterday. And um, because, but because we were focused on the podcast, I didn't do a pin for her yet. Definitely, we got her set for three year olds, and it comes off very easily. Oh, that's so good. And she can practice with that until she gets ready for like the stuff that doesn't come off so easily, you know? Yes, we have to do a pin. Oh, you're up for it. Now then, I'll explain the rules. So just listen carefully. I'm gonna light the torches on each of the surrounding four islands in a particular order. Jump to the island that has the lit torch. If you can jump to it before the torch goes out, you'll get one point. If you get 20 or more points within the time limit, you'll get a big prize. But it'll cost you 20 rupees for one try. How about it? Will you give it a try? Sure. Great. In that case, I'll start. Okay, they give you more than enough time to get the 20 points. What can make this game challenging is that you've got this weird camera angle that you only use in this little mini game, and you don't use any other time. Also, he doesn't tell you this unless it happens, but you can't fall in the water. If you fall in the water, you fail. Almost fell in the water. We're just gonna miss that one. Once you get 20, you can just kind of wait for the timer to run out. You don't have to get any more. Um, that's it. That's all That's all you have to do. So, yeah. We can get one for safety. That's it. And you can just chill. Um, it's not too hard. You, you saw you don't have to get every single one. You just have to get to 20 in total. The thing that makes it hard is this weird camera angle. And then, so it can be kind of challenging because of that. But if you get used to the camera angle, it is really one of the easier um, mini game pieces of the part that is in this game. One day I have to take a pic of my entire pin collection. Yes, once I have a way to display them all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think we talked about that before, but I definitely want to see it. Excuse me, at some point, whenever you get the, all that up. All right, that's it. Uh-oh, that was a little too easy. Oh well, here's your prize. Yay, piece of heart. And I was thinking of saving up to buy a big ship. Now, it looks like I may go bankrupt. Aw, poor dude. Okay, so we are going to stop here for today with Majora's Mask. Next week, we will continue Majora's Mask. And we're going to be headed over to Ikana Canyon to get that area started. It's going to be really super fun. Um, so for all of y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.